Hello my internet friends, John Gibson here with I Need Examples. Today we are going to cover the Excel add-in tool, Solver. If you wish to follow along, there is a link to the Excel file for this video in the description below. While you are down there, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment on this video or on an Excel tutorial you would like to see. The Excel Solver in Microsoft Excel is an add-on program you could use for what-if analysis. You can use Solver to determine the maximum or minimum value of one cell by changing other cells. The restraint is subject to constraints or limits on values of other cells in the worksheet. This is a built-in add-in which you will need to turn on before use. Let's first load the Solver add-in to Excel. For Excel 2010 or later, go to File, Options, Add-ins, and in the Manage drop-down box, make sure Excel Add-ins is selected. Click on Go, and then make sure the Solve Add-in checkbox is selected, and click on OK. You will find the Solver Add-in function under the Data tab and under Analysis. In our example, we have a list of items we need to buy to stock our store. Row 2 is the budget we are given. Row 3 through 8 is our order sheet. We have our items, quantity, price per item, and our item total. In row 9, we have our total quantity and total price. The manager wants us to buy at least 10 of each item, but we cannot buy more than 100 of any item. Lastly, we need to stay on a budget of $12,000. We can manually do this by putting quantities in each item until we get what we need, but that can take a while, so let's get some AI involved here. Click on the Data tab and then click on the Solver option under Analysis. The Solver Parameters box will appear and we can start entering in our data. First, let's set our objective. We need the total in D9 to be equal to the target budget of $12,000, so our objective is D9. Next, we want to let Solver know what values can be changed. Place the cursor in by changing variable cells, and let's select our cells. We want the quantity cells from B4 to B8. Now let's add some constraints. First, we need to make sure the final total is not greater than our budget. Click on Add. Our first cell reference will be D9. Select the Equals option in the center drop-down list, and our constraint option will be C2. Click on OK. Next, we need to make sure that our values in the quantity fields can only be integers. We cannot order half of an item. Click on Add, click on the cell reference, and then select cells B4 through B8. In the center drop-down, select Int. This will make sure that only values used will be integers, and click on OK. Now we need to make sure that the values in the quantity are greater than 10. Remember, we have to order at least 10 of each item. Click on Add, click on the cell reference, select cells B4 through B8. In the center drop-down box, select greater than or equal to, and in the constraint box, enter 10, and click on OK. Let's repeat this, but now we need to make sure that we do not order more than 100 items. Click on Add, our cell reference is B4 through B8, the center will be less than or equal to, and the constraint will be 100. Click on OK. There, now we have all of our constraints in place. Next, we will solve the problem. Click on Solve. Solver has found a solution, so let's click on OK. Perfect. The solver has given us our quantities within parameters, and it equaled out to 12,000. Sometimes the solver will not be able to give a solution. Let's go back to Solver. And let's change our minimum item order to 50 instead of 10. Click on the item, click on change, and in the constraint, change 10 to 50, and click on OK. Now let's click on Solve. As you can see, Solver could not find a feasible solution to our request. It will still finish out the inventory list, but as you can see, the total is now above the $12,000 budget. Click on the Return to Solver Parameters dialog box, click on OK, and let's change the minimum quantity back to 10. Now click on Solve, 
And again, it has found a solution that is within tolerance. Click on OK. And now we have a solution that will meet our boss's needs. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help my channel. Leave a comment below to let me know if this video was helpful or if you would like to see a video on a specific Excel topic. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.